The year is 2050, and over the last generation, the kids would only eat chicken nuggets and fries. This led to a huge shortage of potatoes and chickens. Can we capitalize on this high demanding job market, or will we fail at feeding the next generation? Let's find out. Well, hello and welcome back in everybody. This is episode nine of Feeding the Next Gen Roleplay. Now, the fields look totally different than what I left you with last episode. Way, way different. I left y'all in March. And in March, I had $42,081. I said, eh, that's probably not enough because I'm paying like $10,000 a month for a loan and interest and the other stuff is in there too, like property maintenance. I didn't think that'd be enough. So I did talk a little bit about doing some contracts and I never did them. I said, you know what? Let's just go ahead and sleep all the way to harvest time. Time. I'll deal with the harvest myself. I'll deal with the loss. And I can't believe how much money I just lost. This is crazy. I lost $51,032 just sleeping, losing all that money. But I got a feeling I'm about to make it all up. And our bank account balance is in the negative. But we got a nice harvest to do. Let's do it. Now, here we go. We're over here on field 39, which is auto sim crew field. And you know what? I'm not even going to set up course play. And for one, I can't set up course play because I don't have money to do that. Like I said, we're in a negative negative eight thousand nine hundred fifty one dollars right there in the top right oh man i don't know how i feel about that i mean it's really not too bad i mean i don't like being in the negative i don't know how a bank would allow somebody to be in the negative that much but somehow they do i mean there should be like a them coming after me to make me sell stuff off you know i just thought of something that's kind of like it's been a long time since i played it but sims 4 sims 4 i believe they come and take items if you can't pay bills that should be a thing on here but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and harvest this up and we're gonna get some sold so i can get out of the negative but I want to keep a close eye on each field, each field's harvest, see kind of what each field brings into me and kind of separate all that information. There we go, finishing up that field harvest over here on field 39 and that comes out to 114,710 liters. Now I'm going to go ahead and dump that off into the trailer here and just keep a little note of how much I got for each field. Now it's time for us to hit up field 36, which is simulation gaming universes field. And there's one thing I want to kind of talk about here for a second also is I've had a lot of people ask me, hey, where do you get this harvester from? And I don't know if it's on the mod hub, but I did get it off of Mark Thor's Discord page. Somebody did tell me this was on the mod hub also. So maybe it's on there. Mark Thor has some great, great mods. I've been getting most of them off his Discord page. Well, I try to get them off the mod hub first, and then I find some on his Discord page and stuff like that. So I would highly recommend just getting on the mod hub and searching Mark Thor and checking out all his mods in general. I don't know how you can do that on console and I know on my PC it doesn't work that good if I just search somebody's name. So what I usually do is I find a mod I know they did. For example, Mark Thor made a Quick Quick Beller, which is absolutely amazing also. And yeah, there's a link for his name and I click on that link for his name. At least that's how I've done it in the past for finding other mods from certain modders. And I highly recommend Mark Thor's mods. Mm, I've, I don't know if I've ever had any issues with them. I'm sure I had here and there, but honestly, could have been my problem. Mod conflicts happens all the time, but he's got some great mods. Highly recommend checking those out. Just finishing up build 36 here and we ended up with 98,747 liters. A little bit less, but I mean, if we look at the fields on a total size from the aerial view, I mean, I I guess the biggest one is field 39 i guess i don't know i didn't really pay that close of attention and i need to get the field info mod or some sort of mod that tells me how many acreage these fields are i would like to get that mod i should probably go ahead and back out and get it and i might before i end this episode no promises now next up is custom field one i believe this is rambo hacker gaming's field I'm trying to remember these without actually looking at them so hopefully i got these field names right these are some small fields as custom field one and custom field two so i mean the yields definitely aren't going to be as big at least i don't think they are the yields don't necessarily mean the size of the field either because with precision farming the yields can be different depending on the ground type so we'll see how much we get out of this all done with custom field one there and that was actually pretty good for how small that field was i would say we'll look at the soil samples a little bit later and see why it was so much better than compared to the size of the fields now that came out to 89,722 liters but we'll get that dumped off here inside this trailer last field now and this is custom field two which is the herd and 
all these people I'm mentioning and name these fields after great content creators. If you haven't checked them out, I highly recommend it. Their channel pages are on my homepage, so great farm sim content creators and other content type creators too, I guess, besides just farm sim. And of course, don't forget, I do have another channel. This is not my main channel. I have another channel that I did start up on farm sim, and that's also on my homepage too. So you can find a bunch of old content that I got on there, which I would say is kind of good. I don't know. If you're liking this, you might like some of the older stuff I did too. And all done there with custom fill to the herd. And we'll go ahead and fold that up. That actually completes our harvest for this season. And that came out to 85,240 liters of potatoes. And we'll dump that off in this trailer also. Like I did say, we are done with our harvest. That doesn't necessarily mean we're done with the harvester. Hopefully there's some jobs out there for other farmers that I could do. Hopefully they'll hire me. I don't know. I've been bragging a little bit too much about stealing some potatoes from them. Maybe they won't hire me. But here are the numbers for each field. We had field 39 with 114,710, field 36 with 98,748, custom field 1 with 89,722, and custom field 2 with 85,240. Now, I'm going to do all that math in my head real quick, and I'll tell you that number in a second. There it is, 388,420 liters. And if you're wondering how I did that so fast, it's because it's in the bottom there. <laughs> a little cheat there. That's why I was paying close attention and kind of putting them all in one centralized area. Now, do I need to sell all those off to get out of the negative? No, I don't. Do I need to sell any of them off to get out of the negative? Maybe not, because I could do some contracts to get out of the negative. I don't necessarily need to sell this off. So I'm going to go ahead and dump all this into the silo for now, and then I'll look at some contracts, see if I can make some money somewhere else besides selling off my potatoes. I like to save them for best sell time, which is January. Well, that is not good at all. I just realized I got a truck over here. Yep, I do. No, that's not the issue. The issue is, look at this. The only thing I have turned on right now is potatoes. I believe that's all I got turned on. Let's go over here. Yep, those aren't turned on. Okay. So potatoes is the only thing I got turned on right now. And look how many of them are brown because this is potatoes, this is potatoes, this is potatoes, this is potatoes. So obviously our four fields are potatoes and there are nothing else on this map. So I guess all the farmers collectively came together and said, hey, this guy keeps stealing all our potatoes. Let's not plant any. That's not good. I can go into the handy dandy computer here and see this time saving stock check mod, which is absolutely amazing. Like I didn't mention, best sell time is January. If I wait till January, I can make 244000 dollars if i sell them all off right now i can make 163,000. so i'm losing quite a bit of money there by not holding it now the thing is should i hold it or should i sell it i don't know well that is not good i just walked all the way down here to pick up my truck and as i was walking off my farm somebody from the bank showed up apparently in very very small print on that loan contract i signed for one million dollars was some rules that i had to follow each year and this is year one this is the end of year one i signed that loan last year in august I got till December to become compliant or I'm going to hit $25,000 per violation. Now, looking at it, the first rule, I'm fine. The second rule, eh, uh, it's not looking good. But we'll go over those rules on a different episode because that is all the time I got for this episode. And that is actually all the time I got for this season. I'm going to break them down into seasons and make some longer episodes too and different playlists. So hopefully y'all enjoy this. Hopefully y'all enjoy that idea there. And hopefully y'all are enjoying this series and you want to come back for season number two. But hey, I really want to thank y'all so much for stopping in and watching. Really do appreciate it. It means a whole lot. This has been a very fun season, very fun series. I hope y'all are enjoying as much as I am. And if y'all got any tips, tricks, or suggestions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. They're always welcome and very much appreciated. And until next time, y'all take care.